Hey folks, how you doing? We're going to be looking at the sum function in SQL Server, and to do that, we're going to be looking at seven different queries. Um, one of them is just going to be a select query. I'm going to show you another one that throws an error, but we're going to be looking at sum, we're going to be looking at group by, and then we're going to be looking at the all-important partition by. Before we get started, if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps the algorithm with uh, YouTube, and if you really appreciate my teaching style and want to see more, you know, you can always feel free to subscribe. You can always unsubscribe at any point. Cancel your order at any time. Operators are standing by. Actually, no, they're not. Let's get started. So I'm going to be showing, there's actually seven queries right on this screen, but I only want to show one at a time. And you might notice that there's a big gap over here. The reason why there's a big gap is that I have certain things lined up, and as you see them, I want everything in the same order. Just going to do a really quick select right now. We're going to be using an employee table. We've got the employee name, their department, and their salary. And some people work in the same department, like you see all these people from HR. Great. Perfect type of simple table to do this with. I'm going to lower this a little bit more so you can see a couple of queries at a time. Let me just do this to tighten it up a little. What I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is select the salary. I just want the sum of the entire salary from this table. You notice I give it the name sum sal for like sum of salary. Yeah, you don't have to give it a name, but it looks foolish if you don't. And there's other times where if you don't give something a name, it'll actually break. But let's just run this query. When I do the sum, what it does is it adds the sum together. 6,550,000, man, I don't want to be writing that check, would you? Okay. But now, now you're going to see why I start to line this up for you. Let me just um, hit the delete key. All right. Now look at this. Now, the, the first line is and the second line, I kind of wanted to put these together and put a combination and show you that I want to select the employee, the department, and the salary, and the sum of the salary, all at the same time. This will throw an error. Watch. SQL is not going to like this. It says column emp emp, because the name of the field and the name of the table are both emp, is invalid in the select list because it is not contained in either an aggregate function, blah, 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 blah. The longer you do SQL, the more you'll see that error. What that means is, you know, it wants, if you're going to be doing this with any other field, you need to do something called a group by. So let's do this. Uh, now, for some reason, I have, I have this line twice. I, I don't know why I put this in. This is the same exact thing. Yeah, that was an accident. Let me get rid of that. Now, let me show you a group by. Okay, so in this line here, now, what's different, let me, let me just give us a little more room. Okay, see how I'm saying select department and sum salary? So it's just the department and the sum of the salary. But then I'm saying group by department. See, this is what made this, um, this blow up before because it, it's not an aggregate function like sum. Sum means it's aggregating it. Or it's not in a group by clause. Well, see, department is now in a group by clause, and we don't have salary by itself or employee by itself. So this will work, but look at what this does. This is pretty cool. See, all it does is it shows each department by itself. It doesn't have the employee names because that would mess up the way that this looks. And it has the total, the total, the sum of, I could have just called this total, but I didn't. Um... So the biggest, the smallest budget is in advertising. That's probably a mistake. Uh, the cafeteria people make more than advertising. Boy, I bet that's got to hurt. HR, legal. Look, the software guys, well, actually, no, the software guys don't make the most. Actually, the sales guys make the most. But uh, anyway, that's all good. Yeah, they deserve it. Okay, so you get how that looks. It, basically, you're saying, show me every department and show me the sum of the salary. So group buy is pretty good. But group by can be limited because, you see, if we wanted to show all these things, we couldn't really do it and still just granularize it by the department because it would want to show every employee in the department in a different line. It creates like a different record or a different node. That's not really what we want. 
Watch what happens when we do it like this. If I just try to show the employee with the department, now again, if I don't put employee in the group by, see, watch this. If I do this, just like last time, this is going to crank out an error. SQL is going to complain, and rightly so. The end is invalid in any case because it's not contained in a... Yeah, I, okay, I'm not going to, you know, don't tell Microsoft I read it in that voice, please. But now if we put this back, this will work. When I say it'll work, it won't crash, but it's not going to give us what we want. See, because now it's back to showing every employee and every department, and it's really not, the only thing it's a sum of is that one person's salary. So it's just, if it basically, basically this right here is the same thing as the very first line that we did. It's just like, it, like doing this. It doesn't get, it's, Things are in a different order, but it's basically the same information. So it really doesn't help us, okay? So the question is, if we want to see everybody on here, but if we want to kind of categorize things or, or granularize things by department and then show a sum, what can we do? Well, welcome to the world of analytical functions or window functions. Now, this code may look a little different than what you're used to looking at. If the most you've ever done is a group by, wait you see this we're going to get the employee we're going to get the department we're going to get the salary and then we're going to get the sum of the salary kind of it's going to be a running total actually let me let me do this let me show you two things let me do this uh Okay, check this out. By the way, when you're do, filming a video, never do something without testing it first like I'm doing right now. Okay, look at this. Yeah, see, this is why you never do it because it's not what I wanted to show you. Okay, <laughs> stuff like that happens in real life. Okay, let me, um, let me show you this. What's going to happen is it's going to granularize everything. I'm going to partition by the department. I'm going to order by the, whoops, I'm going to order, ugh, I'm going to order by the employee. Um, but what it's going to do is within each department, it's not just going to show me the sum of everything in the department. It's going to show me a running total. So for every line, it's going to add the previous stuff before it. This is really cool because if you had to, if you had to do this some other way, without using this partition by and order by and over clause with the sum salary, <clears throat> you'd be here all day coding it and you might not be able to get it to work. I have a video where I did something similar. Instead of this one line of code, it took like 53 minutes to show how I did it. And that's not me coding it. That's having the code ready to go. I'm just explaining it. I'm telling you, it's brutal. This thing saves you so much time. Check this baby out. <clears throat> Look at these names, Dina Bobina. Ida O'Rida, Jeannie McMeany, that's what one of my, actually two of my cousins, Jeannie McSweeney, neither of my cousins. Okay, so here's how this works. It starts with the advertising department, see that, advertising, and it puts the lower salary than the next hire, oh actually no, actually you know what, my bad, I told it to order by the employee. So it takes everybody in advertising, but then it orders it by the employee. So the salary is just whatever order the salary is in, okay? Instead, if I said order by salary over here, then it would have ordered it by the salary. It doesn't matter. You could do whatever you want. But here's what it is doing. It takes the first salary and it says, okay, well, the total so far is 18000 But now on the second record, look at this. We have 32000 but we also have 18000 so we're up to fifty. In the third record, we had 50,000, right? It's adding 27, so we're up to 77,000. Fourth record, 32. Well, it's going to add 32 to 77. I'm not going to ask you to do that in your head. It comes to 109,000. And here's the beauty of it. On the next department, cafeteria, it starts over. So analytical functions, which is what this is, anything where you see over, it, like there's a function call, then there's over, 
and especially with partition by. If it says over and that it has anything in here, that's that's an analytical function. The minute you have it say partition by, then it also becomes a window function because see where that says advertising? Think of this as a window. And think of this as another window. Not windows like the operating system, but just like a window in a building. It's a rectangular area that's smaller than the entire area. So it's a window. It starts over and it goes again. And the thing is, you can, you're probably already thinking of a million ways that you can use this at work or in stuff that you've tried, but I can guarantee you someone will ask you to either explain or write pseudocode or something to do this for a job interview. So you have to know how to do it. Here's what I would do. I would mess around with this a bunch of different ways. I would play around with the order by to see how it messes things up. I would use data from different tables, and then I would leave it alone for a few days, come back, and then see if you remember how to do it. The only way you get good at this is by doing it and doing it. You can watch my videos all day long, and I hope you do, but the best way to learn after this is either to take a course or you got to play around with it. All right, again, if you like, wow, you're still listening? Oh, you're amazing. Here's a trophy. Here's $50. Wait, just kidding. Trophy, wow, for 27th place. That, that's another thing that's wrong today. Uh, anyway, so if you like this, please hit the like button. Um, you know, please do my laundry. And, you know, please consider subscribing. Thanks and have a great day. Sorry this took so long, but I thought it was important. Goodbye.